come to an allergist, we want to look up your nose. This may be the first time anyone has ever wanted to actually look up your nose. A lot of times people ask me, well, what are you even looking for? One of the things we're looking for is what's called nasal polyps. When we examine the nose, we'll actually use what's called an otoscope. So we'll use one of these little tips and actually insert the tip into the nose. And what we're looking for with nasal polyps is essentially a very shiny teardrop or even grape-like appearance that can range from colors to light pink, yellow, and sometimes even white. Nasal polyps are benign inflammatory growth that actually occur within the nasal cavity that can actually block where the sinuses drain. The major symptom that most people have is actually nasal congestion, but you can get symptoms of decreased smell as well as taste. Now, there are a lot of other reasons you can get decreased smell and taste, such as COVID, but nasal polyps is one other reason for that. Let's take a look at what we're seeing. On the left is the septum, or the middle part of the nose that divides the two nostrils. On the right is the inferior turbinate, or a structure within the nose that helps warm and moisten the air that travels through the nose. In the middle is a classic appearance of a polyp, which should be open space. No wonder you're feeling congested. Nasal polyps can be associated with a lot of different types of diseases. Just to name a few, we have chronic sinus disease, asthma, sensitivity to actually some anti-inflammatory medications, cystic fibrosis, and even a rare cause it can be associated with different type vasculitises. The treatment of nasal polyps is constantly expanding. Typically, we'll start with a steroid nose spray, and then we can actually change up if you don't respond to that treatment to a different device or even a higher potency by actually mixing it with saline rinses. If steroids are ineffective, we may recommend that you start a biologic agent. It's an injectable medicine that's given every few weeks that can actually help regress nasal polyps. Or potentially we may send you to our ear, nose, and throat colleagues to evaluate you for a consideration for surgery.